Welcome back to Max's Garage Mahal. As you saw the other day, we got this thing torn down to the head, the jug, and the piston. And as you remember, I've dropped a valve or two, maybe bent one or two, or five. That's what that's bent. That's bent. That's bent real good. Not like the others. But the question I had in my mind is, you think we need a new spark plug? I'm thinking we're going to need a new spark plug. But, regardless whether we need a spark plug or not, I wanted to clean up the carbon, which I started doing. I did half of it. And uh, I wanted to clean it up. I wanted to see if this cleaner would uh, clean that carbon out without having to drop it in some acid. So, uh, this is all I did. I just lightly and with the camera going, I don't want to splash that stuff around. But I just took this stuff and light and went back and forth like this a few times. And uh, started cleaning it up, see how much metal was embedded into the aluminum. And if I can get it all out. So I weld up the head of the chamber. And uh, if I can weld up the chamber, cut new, put some new guides in, cut new seats. That might save oh, about $300, so, you know, the idea of this rag to broach to racing series is to uh, try to take this old bike and uh, without spending more we have to, get her up where she runs real nice and then uh, whatever we want to do with it as far as uh, upgrades and performance modifications you know, like porting and polishing head, we might pop this thing back apart and uh, do a little porting and polishing. We definitely can get rid of these sharp edges here. Those sharp edges on a 12 5 to 1 compression engine, that's, uh, that's a problem right there. We don't want uh, to have these sharp edges because that can cause, it doesn't always, but normally will, depending on how much lead time or advance you put into the engine, it can uh, and how lean you want to run it to try to make horsepower. The leaner it is, the more those sharp edges can heat up <coughs> excuse me, and cause pre-detonation, which we don't want. So, uh, let's see here. We're getting closer all the time on this thing. That's really not clean enough for you guys to really see what all I'm looking for with the naked eye. But I'll try to get in there with the a little bit of zoom so you can take a look. Alright, let's rinse that off a little bit. Need to do a little bit more on it. I actually let that soak a little while the other day before I, like five, ten minutes, and I, as you can see, I haven't done that today. But that's coming off pretty good. Of course, I didn't mess around, got my brush wet so I can't handle my camera. What's wrong with me? You know, that being a stainless steel brush, we sure don't want to scrub too hard, but it scrubs in a little way. I don't think that's a problem. Also clean the uh, gasket surface with this. And that worked pretty good. And uh, as you can see, it takes that gasket right off. Pretty nice, huh? All right. Now, Everybody seems to think I'm making all these commercials for super clean. That just happens to be what I'm using for cleaner. It's working pretty good, guys. Camera's between me and y'all and the head, so it makes it a little difficult. And I don't, don't want to splash it up on the bike or the bike <laughs> on the camera lens for sure. That might ruin that lens forever. But I'm really thinking I may need a spark plug. Anyway, it's got a lot of metal in here, but we'll start chiseling away at it. See, like this built-up piece here. Let me get my fingers wiped off a little bit where I can get the zoom. I don't know how far we can zoom in without it blurring, but you might be able to see that sharp edge here. 
And what that sharp edge is, it's either a part of the piston, part of the valve stem, valve head. So we've got to get this all cleaned up and find out how much this metal is in this head. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get new guides in this thing after we weld it up. Hope there will be enough material there to cut in new seats, put the valves in, cut the valves and seats together and lap them in real nice. And uh, maybe we'll be able to salvage this head. Now the top of the head, um, I had to build me a little iron hone here. And what I use for that is a 5H spark plug socket. Did a one and a quarter wraps of paper 220. So the exhaust valve is still not turning easily. Intake's nice and smooth, it doesn't have any play in it. But this sucker over here, it is well I boarded my dog going wrench I was turning it with. But anyway, you're not turning it with the bare hand. And of course it's not going to turn real well with parts cleaner in there, but even when I put a little oil on it, it still doesn't want to turn. So we've got that to do yet. And I want to work the head as though we know it's salvageable. And uh, we'll keep bringing that to you as we go forward. But let's keep these segments short. And uh, we'll come back when we have something else to show you. And at this time, we don't. This is all she wrote for this one. So I hope you're getting some out of this. And if you are, then be sure to uh, subscribe and hit that like button. And um, by the way, what do y'all think about putting this right up here? Oh well, not a big deal. It's just a decal. Okay, guys, we appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mall. And as we always say here at Max's Garage Mall, y'all come back see us now, you hear?